What's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy, Marlon. We are back at it again with another edition of the show. So if this is your first time watching, don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. Turn on that post notification bell so you never miss out on the daily updates that we have in the land of PlayStation and Xbox. If that is something that intrigues you, then this is the place for you. Welcome back to the channel, guys. All right. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. So we do have some topics to go over and discuss. There's a lot of stuff that's being said right now in the video game industry um, pertaining to games running at 30 FPS, um, games that are unoptimized. And I really want to come on here and talk about this because this is something that I've been talking about numerous times. And I've always said for us to demand better because these games are just seem like they're just getting worse and worse in terms of performance. And it's just like, what is it? Like what what like what is the issue? Right? Like, why are these games coming out unoptimized? Why are these games coming out not polished? Why are these games coming out buggy, glitchy, like just horrendous? Like, like what is the issue? And then we still have to turn around and buy this stuff because we're excited to play it because we've been waiting 12 years for it or we, we've been waiting five years, six years, seven years. And it's like, when is it going to stop? This is 2024, guys. And this just feels like this is 2013, 2011, 2010, 2008, all over again. And it's like, do we really need to sit here and accept this? Or do we need to make a stand and say, okay, you know what? Enough is enough. Like Dragon's Dogma too. I've already said my piece on that. And I said, I will not purchase this game on consoles until they actually fix the actual um on cap 30 fps frame rate which we're getting reports that it's dropping below 30 fps and that is not good right uh, not only that but on pc oh lord we have so many articles we have people complaining about how on optimized this game is and we got to talk about it because honestly if if i were somebody who you know, is hype for Dragon's Dogma 2, I would hold off. I would hold off until Capcom fixes the issue because it's just like, if you buy into it, it's like you're sending a signal to them like, okay, this is okay. This practice is okay. People have been waiting for so many years on Dragon's Dogma 2, right? And then at the same time, it's like, no, here you go. This is what you're getting. Unoptimized pile of garbage, Right. And not only that, even on PC, like you can have I saw an article saying you got to have the latest and greatest hardware to be able to play Dragon's Dogma 2. And even if you do have the latest and greatest in terms of hardware, you still can't get 60 FPS. You, you can turn down settings all you want. And I, I'm just sitting here shaking my head. Right. People spend thousands of dollars on their PC rigs. Right. Four, five, three, you know, ten thousand upwards of ten thousand dollars, you know, on these 40, 90 rigs or however, how much money they spend. And you telling me you can't even get 60 FPS. Nah, nah, we get we we got to make a stand. We have to make a stand as gamers and it's only going to get worse. Right. Because as we progress throughout the rest of this year. We're going to continue to see more and more games. It's not even because for some people, they'll sit there and tell me, Marlon, I don't care about 30 FPS. You know, I'm fine with it right now. That that's if that's you, then that's fine. But we have to make a stand when a game is on optimized. That is a massive problem. That's a massive L. Right. We have gotten Starfield. Right. Just just. <laughs> All sorts of performance issues, unoptimized issues, buggy, glitchy issues, 30 FPS, Gotham Knights, 30 FPS, all sorts of issues, Redfall, buggy, glitchy, you know what I mean? Outdated freaking graphics, 
Gameplay is not even good. Nothing about that game was even good when it came out, right? Uh, Gollum, same thing. It's like, really, bro? In 2024, what a disgrace. These developers should be ashamed of themselves putting out freaking trash. And it's like, you expect us to buy. Oh, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll fix it. Yeah, we understand that you will fix it. But why don't you delay the game? Delay the game and actually fix it before you put it out. Because we got to spend money on this stuff. Whether it's on PC, whether it's on PlayStation 5, whether it's on Xbox Series X or S or Nintendo Switch. We got to pay for that stuff. So my, my thing is, why are, why are we letting these developers get away with this stuff? You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it's just, man, looking at Dragon's Dogma 2, the game looks really good. It's a shame because a lot of people are saying that Dragon's Dogma 2 is the game of the generation, right? It's the best game ever, and it's the game of the generation, but it's being held back by poor optimization and ridiculous performance, like in terms of how the game performs on PC, on consoles. So nowhere you're safe. You go to PC, you can have a 4090 all you want. You don't believe me? We're going to take a look at these articles. And you, we're going to read these articles and y'all going to see. This is not a joke. They, we need to make a stand, man. I am so tired. I am tired. I am so tired of the bull crap. Right? I'm so tired. You see? You see what I'm saying? It is not the hardware's fault. So what is it? Is it laziness? Is it lack of passion? What is it? Like, like what, what, what is the, what is the issue here? Because it ain't the hardware's fault because clearly on PC, people have 40 nineties, people have 40, 80 supers, people have 40 seventies and still can't hit 60 FPS. What? What? And a 4090 rig costs almost three to four times what a PS5 and Series X costs. And you telling me you can't hit 60 FPS? Really? So I can already see the disaster that's about to happen. I already told you guys, when it comes down to the PS5 Pro, you guys already know what you can expect. First, I've said this, I've said this, and I'm going to say it again. First party is going to shine with the PS5 Pro because the first party developers are passionate. They know what they're doing. Not, not to say that some of the games are not going to be buggy and glitchy. Not to say that the games are going to be perfect or anything like that. But hear me when I tell you, the problem is that's going to happen with PS5 Pro is the third party developers, just like what we're getting right now. We can't sit there and point the finger at the hardware. Point the finger at the PS5 Pro, point the finger at the 4090 or the 4080 or the 4070 Ti or the 3080 or the 3090 Ti. We can't be pointing fingers at the hardware. It's the friggin' developers. I'm so sick of this, man. 30 FPS on optimized. It's not even capped. It's on capped. That's the crazy part, right? And we got to sit here and play that unoptimized trash you know what i mean just ruining the whole ex i want to play the game but i'm not fixing to sit here and what nah man it... oh man it is it's it's sickening it's sickening it is sickening you know last year the same thing year before last the same thing it's just like okay what are what like what is it going to take for these developers to start being passionate about these games, right? Take better pride into their games. What are we going to do? What, what can we do to improve our work ethics as developers? What, is it money? Is it, is it greed? What, what is it? I, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand here because if you, if you don't speak up and say something, it's going to keep happening over and over. what's, what's going to be the next, was it going to be stellar blade next? Well, what, what other, what other third party? Cause some people think this is a joke. 
So what other third party game is going to be next? What other second party game is going to be next? Until we say enough is enough. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm very upset right now because I want to play the game. And I refuse to play it with the way how the game is running right now. Oh, yeah, we're, we're going to fix it. I don't want to hear that nonsense. You should have fixed that before you put it out. People have already pre-ordered the game. People have been waiting years. That's the. Cr I don't understand. I don't understand. 12 years. People have been waiting on Dragon's Dogma 2. 12 friggin' years. 12 years. A long time. Over a decade. How is it, how is it possible that you come out with this game and it's unoptimized? Can't even run on the latest hardware. You, you, you got to make sure that your PC is the latest and great. And this, oh my God, this game is crushing CPUs, crushing CPUs. You got to make sure you have the best friggin' CPU. And even at, even if you have the best CPU, you still, still running into issues. I don't even know, man. I didn't even know. Y'all don't even know how pissed off I am because I, my heart goes out to those people that spend thousands of dollars on their PCs, that spend $500 on these consoles, right? And then it's like, okay, what is it? What's going to happen different? What's going to happen different moving forward? This stuff is just, a, it's, it's a never ending cycle and there's no accountability. It's It's almost as if like, we don't remember anything about cyberpunk, about how much of a disaster that game was. It's like, we don't, we don't remember, do we? How bad that was of a launch. And it's, it's almost as if like, we just want stuff to be refunded. Look at, look at, look at, um, <sighs> what a disgrace. I, I just want to go back to the old ways of gaming PS2, PS3, not even PS3, because there was some issues with PS3, but PS2, man, PS1, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, man, get, modern day gaming is trash, bro. Like in terms of performance, garbage, literal trash. It's like, I, I don't, I don't understand. It's like, we don't take the page out of other people's mistake. Look at, um, Suicide Squad, garbage, literal trash per game runs like trash, right? Freaking Dragon's Dogma 2, same thing, right? Just trash, trash performance, trash optimization, just garbage. And it, it's just like. Why are we releasing this and saying that this is okay? Because you know what? People are going to buy it. PSP. Man, I miss, the, I miss that, man. Somebody said PSP. I miss that. You know what I mean? I miss, I miss when developers actually cared, man. I don't even know if you guys realize what I'm saying here. And you know what? It's only going to get worse because, you know, they just had a uh what was it state of unreal state of unreal um stream yesterday showing off all the latest unreal stuff they showed off the new captain america with amy henning the game that the new 19 was it 43 or something like that that looked really really good right it looked it looked really really good and everything and so i'm like wait a minute like are you serious like Wow. But even looking at even looking at the new Captain America game, right? And all these other really 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 good games that looks good appealing to the high. How is the performance of those games? Because Dragon's Dogma has no performance, nothing, just nothing, just a dry 30 FPS. Literally. Nothing. No no additional like visual visual presets, nothing at all nothing and it, it 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 just it's like is it the is it the hardware that's bottlenecking these games or is it the developers 
that are so freaking lazy, greedy, and selfish, and don't care. Which one is it? Which one is it? Let's talk about this. We're also going to talk about Rise of the Ronin. Not good. Not good from what I'm hearing the critics are saying. <laughs> it's like you can't win. Outdated graphics. All this. and It's like you, you, you're not hearing nothing good. Nothing good. It's like nobody is happy. Gaming is just... It, it, besides the layoffs, besides all the, you know, studios closing down, um, it's just nothing good. You're not hearing anything good. You're not hearing anything good. You know what I mean? And we get so hyped for these games. And then when they come out, they just, they don't deliver. They don't deliver. It's, it's always something. It's either the graphics is outdated. The gameplay is not good, Right um performance is trash the game is unoptimized it's it's uh, the game is too short it's always something and it seemed like the more the more and more we go up in time 2025 is going to roll around and we still probably going to be getting games at 30 fps with no performance modes at all just 30 take it or leave it what I'm sick. I don't know about y'all. I'm sick of this nonsense. I, I really am. I'm I'm so sick of this, man. I, I really, I'm really sick to my stomach right now because I can't believe this is modern day gaming. I can't believe this. I can't. You can go bill you an expensive PC all you want. Go, go ahead. But that's not going to save you because these developers, man, they need to be held accountable. I am so sick of this bull crap. Makes me want to throw up. And we, the gamers, we got to sit here and spend 70 friggin' dollars. You see what I'm saying? We don't get a pass. We don't get a pass. We don't. We, 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 as consumers, we can't, we can't pay half price for a game. We got to pay full price or you can't get the game. This is why I've always... This is why I speak the truth from my heart, right? I always stand tall and speak the truth from my heart because at the end of the day, people are out there, man. People are out there spending their money on these games. And if these games are sus, if these games are not living up to expectation, somebody needs to be held accountable. Because PS5 Pro is not going to make these game developers not lazy anymore and do their job it's not marlin it's laziness pandemic and working from home has made every employee in the u.s turn to couches even recruiters who are supposed to hire the best are hiring friends family or worst candidates it's sad man it, it it's 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 so sad man thank you so much for the donation is that the pandemic but my whole thing is this, man. We can't use the pandemic excuse no more, man. Yes, the pandemic messed up a lot of things. Yes, the pandemic slowed things up. You know what I mean? In terms of development, a bunch of stuff got delayed because of the pandemic. Yes. But we're way past that now, man. Come on, man. Really? And this is okay? Really? Even on, P even on a 4090? Really? Really? On a 4080 Super, do you know how much a 4080 Super is? A thousand dollars. It may right now over a thousand dollars. If you can, if you if you can find one that's not marked up, and you can even it 60 FPS with a thousand dollar graphics card. Are you out of your mind? And this is okay. What? It's already bad enough as console gamers. We don't have a choice. We don't have a choice as console gamers. We don't. We're stuck. We're literally stuck like Chuck. We don't have a point. We don't have a choice. What is the point? Hmm? Of getting hype. Only to realize, oh yeah, the game is only going to be 30 FPS. It's going to be buggy, glitchy mess. Take it or leave it. 
Ha ha ha. We got your money. We'll fix it months later. Really? Nah, man. I, I, man, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I feel bad for the rest of this year. I feel bad for the rest of this year. I mean, if Dragon's Dogma 2 is like this right now, I feel really bad for the rest of this year. I, I, I really am. Because we're waiting on these games. These games are taking longer and longer to develop. I don't even know if people realize that. These games are taking forever to come out. A typical dev cycle for a game is anywhere from four to six to seven, eight years, 10 years and up, right? Look how long we've been waiting on a lot of these games. You know what I mean? And then it's like, when you finally see them, it's like, oh, okay, oh, they show you some CGI nonsense. Oh yeah, let's get hype. And then when the game comes out, it's like, okay, look at the optimization. Look at all this screen tearing. Look at all this buggy, glitchy mess. Hmm? That look what I just bought for 70 bucks. But personally, I don't mind 30 FPS. But when a game runs fluid at 60 FPS, I love it. Many games should generally run at that peak. Exactly. 60, 60 is the standard of this generation. 60 is the standard of this generation. Are we getting every single game? Running at 60? No, we're not. We're not. That's why I said some of you, there's an exception. Some of y'all are okay with 30 frames. 30 frames, if it's locked, a lot of you dudes will be okay with it. But uncapped? What? And then depending on where you go in the city and there's a whole bunch of NPCs walking around in Dragon's Dogma. Oh, 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 there, there goes your 30. Oh, now it's now you're going in the 20s. What? In 2020? What? Are you kidding me? And that's okay? That is not okay. That is not okay. You already, you already walking on thin ice with 30 FPS. You are, that's the borderline for gaming performance, 30. And then you're telling me you're not even getting a lock 30 FPS throughout the entire experience. Oh no, that mug is dropping from, when, once you start dropping from 30, it's game over. There's a lot of games I stopped playing because of that same thing that I'm talking about. It dips below 30. Once that game dips below 30, it ain't even playable no more. I don't give a dog on how good the combat is, how good the story is, how good the graphics is, the, the entire world, how polished it is. None of that matters if you don't have solid performance. Do you guys understand what I'm saying to you? Once that game drops below 30, it's over. It's a, it's a, skip to baloo mess it's like a scratched up cd you know what i'm saying it, it it's 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 like it, the, the lens is finding a hard time trying to read a scratched up freaking cd that's how it is and it's just gonna be skipping the whole time that's how 30 below 30 fps is it's like what who wants to listen to that who wants to play that not me not for no $70. You must be crazy out your mind. In a world where the economy is, is, is trash right now, okay? Uh, uh, gas prices are going up. Um, food is going up. Rent is going up. Everything. Inflation is crushing us right now. What? And we getting dumpster fire freaking performance with the, for our games? For our money? No way, Jose. I don't know about y'all. Let's dig into this article. Man, I'm... I'm man this this gotta stop this needs to stop somebody gotta stop this from happening bro this is like highway robbery you know what i mean it, there's just no way there's just no and these developers are okay with this crap they're okay with putting out dumpster fire in terms of performance oh yeah 30 fps oh yeah but guess what it's not stable sorry not buying it it ain't stable at 30 frames now, I, I don't even want to play it at 30 frames. I want to play my games at 60. That's why a lot of people making videos saying that, no, they lied to us. This entire generation, they lied to us. 
Because how is it that these consoles are supposed to be more powerful than PS4 and Xbox One, but yet still we're going backwards instead of forward? I thought the PS5 is supposed to be way more powerful than PS4 and PS4 Pro. Why is it that we're getting PS4 Pro performance on the PlayStation 5 in terms of some of these third-party games? And same thing on the Series X. Why is it that we're getting 1X performance on the Series X? Why? Why are these games being unoptimized and running like garbage? Why? But then you have to point, it's not just so the hardware, you got to point the finger at these friggin' developers because they're not even trying. They're not even putting in the effort. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. They don't care. They're not even putting in the effort. Try harder. You developers are not trying hard enough. Y'all are easing up off the gas way too. Man, that's why I say I miss the days of PS2 and PS1, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, GameCube. All those systems, legendary. Them games back then was nothing like this. It was all about quality or nothing. You guys know that I'm telling the truth. I wish somebody can come in here and tell me otherwise. Because you know I'm telling the truth. The 90s, 90s era of gaming, the late 80s era of gaming, literal gold mine comparing to this dumpster fire garbage that we're getting now. These games ain't even ready. A lot of these games they putting out ain't even ready. They're not even ready. They're half-baked, glitchy, buggy mess. Hmm? For our hard-earned money. Make that make sense. 20 FPS. What? 25. It, what? You Man, you out of your friggin' mind. L listen to me, man. It's over 9,000! All right, can y'all hear me now? Is that better? Dang it. <sighs> I don't know why that was not working at all. Can y'all hear me now? Mic check, mic check, one, two. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Better, 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 better. All right, all right, all right, all right. Cool, 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 cool. So let's 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 dig back into this, okay? Let's 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 actually read into this. All right. So. DLSS and frame generation upscale are more effective, but this is one game where powering through the worst 
of its stuttering and frame rate drops will take more than just a muscle-bound graphics card. Not, not for the first time with an RE engine game. Dragon Dogs 2 appears severely CPU limited, so it really does demand a fully upgraded rig to ward off sluggishness, especially at higher resolutions. Are y'all hearing this? Okay, now let's come down here right now. All right, listen to this. This makes zero sense, all right? To the minimum requirements credit, when I benchmark the GTX 1070 within the game's capital city, it did average 31 FPS on low preset at 1080p, but that was with my test PC, Intel, obviously the i5 11600K, which outranks the, main, the, the minimum specs of a core i5 10600, right and even then the average was brought down by what some garbage drops to what 20 fps to around 20 guys 20 fps are you kidding me are you seriously kidding me right now switching to newer faster cpus produce more causes for concern so even if you have a newer or faster cpu you're still gonna have issues the current rtx 4060 can only average 47 fp are y'all seeing this 47 fps at 1080p with a high preset and drop into low only bumped that up to 49 fps with a 3070 okay well i'm, I'm sorry uh 40 uh, 49 fps with obviously with the 4060 now, with the 3070, also revealed a weird lack of difference between minimum and maximum settings. At 1440p, with the high preset, ray tracing enabled, and DLSS on quality, it averaged 40 FPS, only 6, per, uh, only 6 FPS slower than with the low preset and ray tracing off. That's crazy, with DLSS quality still running. Watch this. Watch this here. Watch this right here. Oh my God. There was also starting a lack of variance between the high end GPUs at 4K with the preset ray tracing on DLSS on quality. Both the 4070 Ti and the drastically more expensive 4090 average 41 FPS after ditching ray tracing and dropping from high to low the 4090 only produced look at this for two for two thousand dollars a 1500 dollars gpu almost two thousand dollar gpu are y'all seeing this let me big this up so y'all can see it 47 fps on low settings are y'all paying attention on low settings you can even get 60 fps please tell me Please tell me that this is some bull crap and this is okay. This is not okay. 47 FPS barely ahead of the 4070 Ti. What? Are you kidding me? Both cards also drop in the low 20s. What the freak? What? <laughs> This is why I said we got to speak up. Are y'all seeing this? Barely ahead. Of, the 4090 is barely ahead of the 4070 Ti's 45 FPS. Both cards also dropped into the low 20s. A 4090? What? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Into the low 20s during a particular test bits which I think is the slowest I've ever seen an RTX 4090. This God tier legendary monster of a GPU below 20 in the low 20s? What? Oh my Jesus have mercy. No, no, don't let it be so. Don't let it be so. Such similar results usually means that the CPU is the limiting factor and so it appears to be Dragon's Dogma 2 with the RTX 4090 GPU usage sometimes dropping as low as 50% with the i5. Sure, that's not the most in vague process. 
Yo, this is crazy. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Like this is this is insane. This is this is this is really vogue, bro. This is like what is this? 4094K high RT on DLSS quality, averaging shooting from 41 FPS to 64 FPS and the RTX 4060's 1080p high RT off result boost from 47 to 61 FPS. Unfortunately, I was seeing drops in the GPU usage. Unoptimized, guys. This is over 2,000 euros worth of CPU and GPU parts. Just for 60 isn't reassuring. Wow. Wow. <laughs> to recap thus far, Dragon's Dogma 2 suffers a performance collapse every time you go near a settlement. Oh my God. I don't even want to read no more. <laughs> I don't even want to read no more. <sighs> Why, 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 why? We waited so long, over a decade for this game. Why? Everything, 40, 90, 40, 90. Yes, I understand that the CPU is a, is, a, is a main factor here. So depending on the CPU that you have, you might not be able to play this game at 60 FPS. So if you got... Uh, a computer from three years ago, four years ago. Good luck. If you don't have the latest and greatest, at least you're in trouble. You're literally in trouble. And even at that, you just saw what they said in the article. Even at that, you're still running into issues. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I can't, I can't. Dragon's Dogma 2 has an uncapped frame rate, but no visual presets or modes on consoles. <laughs> <sighs> why? Why? Just, just why, man? Why? Why are we getting this, man? Why? Why? I'm not even. I'm not even on Rise of the Ronin yet. What a shame. What a what a shame. What a y'all let me know y'all thoughts on this, man. I, I don't know what else to say. I don't know. It's like we just gonna keep getting games like this. We just gonna keep getting games like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like this is gonna keep happening. Like over and over and over again. Unoptimized dumpster fire. Can't even play the game. I don't even recommend anybody playing the game at this point. Stuff dropping below 20. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Below 20 on PC. What? You can't even get 60. You turn down settings and you can barely get to 60. And even if you get to 60, it's dropping. Once you get to certain settlements, certain areas in the game, it, oh, it's dropping. What? I don't want to play that. That's very disappointing, dog. Hey, that hip, thank you for the $2. It says, bro, this was the worst PC port since Arkham Knight. Man, this is bad, man. This is bad. I can't believe. I, you think I'm lying? Look it up. Look, you. Dog, as soon as you type in Dragon's Dogma 2 PC performance, y'all think I'm lying and I'm making stuff up. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not lying to you guys. Like, this is not. This is. Yeah. Capcom is aware of Dragon's Dogma frame rate issues on PC and looking into fixes. Like, look at, look at, why? why? Look at this. Another article. Y'all think I'm just making stuff up. Look at this. Look at this. I'm not making anything up. Like, this is everywhere you turn. Articles after articles. Look at this. Look at this. Hmm? Dragon's Dogma 2 PC performance is poor. Poor. Hmm? Poor. Still talking about CPU processing. 
You know what I'm saying? CPU. In, in Dragon's Dogma 2, a large amount of CPU usage allocated to each character dynamically calculates the impact of their physical presences in various environments. Lord have mercy. Help us today. Look at this. Ryzen 9 7950X 3D and still have issues. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Ryzen 9. This is, ex bro, this is a beast. Look at this. $585 CPU. A beast. A literal beast. This thing is a beast. The ultimate processor for gaming. AMD 3D Vcash technology for even more game performance. This is one of the best CPUs that you can buy. What? Are you kidding me, my guy? Including eight core 16 thread chips and still had these issues. What? What? <sighs> man, come on, man. Oh, my Lord. Help us. Help us. This is, th look at this, man. This is going to really drag down this poor PC performance. Gripes hurt the, ex you see what this is? And other gripes hurt the experience. A great game. This is why I said we got to speak up. A great game. A great game being held back by laziness. Laziness. We praise Capcom for their greatness when it comes to remakes and, and, and certain games. But this, this needs to stop. A great game being held back by poor performance. Guys, this is why I say when it comes, this ain't even just for PC. This is for consoles too. This is for everybody. We have to speak up. This is ridiculous, man. It's like we don't learn. We don't. We didn't learn from Redfall. How Redfall launched in a very poor state. We didn't learn from Cyberpunk. You know? Oh no 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 no. And people think that this is not going to hurt the experience. I don't want to play a buggy, glitchy, freaking game because it's just going to bother me. I'm OCD when it comes to my games. I'm I'm literally OCD. Come on, man. Listen to me, man. Bro, this is the worst PC port since Arkham Knight. Bro, look at this. 7 out of 10. Look at this. 7 out of 10. People are saying that this is the game of the gen. Are you Let me big this up for y'all. Let me big this up. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. This is a game that's people been waiting for over 10 years. Oh, uh, our verdict, 7 out of 10. Not saying that 7 out of 10 is a horrible score, but it ain't no 8, it ain't no 9, it ain't no 10. It's a 7 out of 10 score. All because of hardware issues. Look at this. Hardware friggin' issues will be a deal breaker for many. Look at that. Read it. Look at it. Hardware issues. And this is going to keep happening. This is why I say this stuff is going to hurt game sales. Because people are going to be like, nope, not buying it. Not freaking buy. This is going to be a deal breaker. Man, are you telling me you you don't care? You, you, you don't care? No, no, no. It's okay. You know, all we care about is freaking money. Nah, not me. Not a washed out looking mess. Come on, man. Listen to me, man every bro i can, let this sink in guys real quick let this sink in look at this a amd ryzen 9 7950 x 3d processor one of the best processors you can buy right now right one of the best processors you can buy right now expensive processor are y'all seeing this and can't even run the game properly feel bad i feel bad mr nicks with the two dollars says at least redfall was free on game pass we got to stop with these lazy ports we got to stop with these unoptimized games and stop blaming the pandemic the pandemic is over with the pandemic is over with i don't want to see no games coming out in 2024 looking like something from 10 years ago no that's unacceptable when are we going to start getting better, better performing games? What, 2025? What, 2026? What, 2027? What, 2028? 
what, 2029? Bro, the numbers just keep getting higher. We're going to be old and gray. We're going to be literal grandpas and grandmas before things change. I'm going to be old and wrinkled. Oh, this game is at 30 FPS. Oh, my God. This was from like 15 years ago. What the heck is this? This is what I've been advocating for for years. And we're still getting games at 30 FPS 15, 20 years later. The heck? This makes no sense. At least Redfall was free on Game Pass. This makes no friggin' sense. It's like, what, what? let's move on to the next thing. I, I can't. I, I can't. Stay tuned for my Rise of the Ronin review. I will be honest in my Rise of the Ronin review like I've always been with all my reviews. If a game is not running right, if the performance is not right, if, if I see any issues, I'll always point it out to you guys and let you guys know. Stay tuned for my Rise of the Ronin. I just got the game in. And I will be reviewing the game for you guys. And I'll let you guys know the truth on my experience. I'm going to be playing the game all of today, all of tomorrow. And I'll have a review for you based on everything that I've played and experience. All right. So thank you to PlayStation for hooking me up with the actual experience uh, for, for review. So let's go ahead and talk about Rise of the Ronin. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Rise of the Ronin. Let, let's 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 get it over with. Oh boy. All right. So as you guys can see here, a 76. A 76. Rise of the Ronin. A 76. Look at this. 65. 65. Oh my God, a 76 on Metacritic, a 76, 65. Look at this, man, this is crazy. Look, let's come down here. Look at this here. Look at this. 70, look at this here. Look at this, 50. Rise of the Ronin is a much better game in theory than it is in practice falling short of outdated graphics. Are y'all seeing this? Outdated graphics. Oh my God. So Rise of Ronin, just like Dragon's Dogma 2, is being held back by something. Rise of the Ronin is being held back because it has outdated graphics. Dragon's Dogma 2 is being held back because it has poor optimization. It's a poor... Poor performing game. Outdated freaking graphics. Oh my lord, have mercy. I can't. I can't. This game is getting low scores because look at it. Look. <sighs> wow. <sighs> man, I don't I don't know. I just I just don't know, man. I just don't know. It's like people people really want their games to look better and to play better. And it's just like, I, I guess gameplay is not king for a lot of people. People care about graphics. And if the graphics is not what they expect it to be, then, oh, sorry. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm not buying it or I'm going to give it a really, really low review score. Look at these. Look at these. Set. Game Spot, a seven. Look at this. IGN, a seven. Look at this. Press Start Australia, a seven. Look at this. New Game Network, seven, 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 seven. Look at that. Seven, seven. Oh, my God, man. This is crazy. Game Radar, a seven. Oh, man. Wow. Look at that. I'm just, I'm just scrolling right now. Literally scrolling. Seven, seven, seven. Sixty-five. Look at this. Another another website. Outdated graphics. Phenomenal combat, which I said before that the combat in the game is good and things of that nature. And the gameplay is good. Hear what this person say. CD action. The phenomenal combat system is not enough to rave about Rise of the Ronin. The chaotic storyline. Boring open world. Look at this. Look at this. 
boring open world clunky gameplay and outdated graphics this is another publication outdated graphics distract too much from what works well in team ninja's latest game oh lord have mercy comic book i go to this website all the time look at this rise of the ronin isn't necessarily an awful game it's just one that's quite unremarkable oh my god have mercy uh, gamer.no rise of the ronin is not a bad game but a mediocre one really Everything it does from the world building to combat system story and mechanics, both in and out of combat, is well made and works. Oh Lord, have mercy! Push Square, what? I go to the, I go to this website all the time. Oh Lord, they're talking about the same thing with dated open world design dated that means that the game looks dated oh lord have mercy that's what i'm saying this is crazy i look at all these six now we now we down in the sixes and it, it it's not it's nothing good and and once again the only good thing you're hearing people saying is the combat and the traversal like man wow rise of the ronin is a much better game in theory than is it is in practice falling short without another website variety outdated graphics man i don't know wait wait 20 wait what's that oh no no to be to be dated okay 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 oh guys i don't know i i i, I don't i don't know i don't i don't know i don't know but i will play the game for myself and I will give you guys my final judgment on this. But these reviews are mixed. It's getting a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of mixed reviews. You know, obviously there are some nines, which is really good. PlayStation Universe, which is really good. But man, I, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know, man. A lot of the complaints with, with, with Rise of the Ronin, a lot of people are saying that the game is rough. The game is rough right in terms of the gameplay some people are saying that the graphics is outdated when i boot up a team ninja game it's typically for me the gameplay and the combat if you play games like elden ring right elden ring didn't have the best horseback animations you know it didn't have the best uh graphics but it was all about the fact that elden ring was 60 fps right and the gameplay was so good in Elden Ring. That's why a lot of people loved Elden Ring so much. Because I'll remember to this day when they first showed off the trailer for Elden Ring, right? And, and people was criticizing the game for having PS2 graphics. Oh, yeah, dog, it's PS2. It's PS2 graphics. I'm like, bro, PS2? Are you kidding me? You know, oh, and then people went on to say, oh, PS4 graphics, PS4. Well, Rise of the Ronin is being criticized as a PS3 game. Do I think it looks PS3? No. It looks better than PS3. But people are going as far as to say, oh, that's PS3. Rise of the Ronin is PS3 game. Outdated graphics and the traversal is, is so horrible. And I'm like, wow. Like, really? You know, like, what, what about the gameplay? Like, what about the combat? Like, Team Ninja is known for that. Those type of Souls-type games like Bloodborne. Bloodborne was 30 FPS, and people still played it, right, for a certain amount of time until they feel like, you know, I need to stop because it, it, it's just, I need that 60 FPS. Same thing with Tears of the Kingdom, right? A lot of people stopped playing Tears of the Kingdom. I stopped playing Tears of the Kingdom because it was dropping below 30, and when you, what was that thing again? The master hand. When you start moving the map, even though Nintendo had the FSR situation going on, once you start picking up, bro, I was traveling through, cutting through Tears of the Kingdom, like literally going through the game. And then I got to points where I have to use the master hand and start getting tree trunks together and, you know, make something really cool. And then the, the performance just drops. 
And then you, you can see it. You can literally see the performance dropping. And it's just like, oh, man. Certain parts, you run around in Tears of the Kingdom, dropping. Literally dropping below 30. And it's like, I can't do this. You see what I'm saying? I can't do it. Great game. Phenomenal game. Some people said Tears of the Kingdom was their game of the year. But performance, that's an issue. I'm really hoping that the Switch 2 can iron out a lot of these Switch games. Same thing with the PS5 Pro. I'm really hoping that the PS5 Pro can iron out some of the performance issues because that's what the PS5 Pro is. It's a performance enhancer. It's supposed to give us smoother frame rate and higher image quality. That is it. It's not a PlayStation 6. It's not a PlayStation 6. And it, it's, it, 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 it sucks that we have to talk about new hardware in order to fix this. Because what is the issue with these developers? Why are we doing this? Where is the pride? Where, where is the effort? We, we, we got we to gotta come forward every single time. We got to dip in our pockets. We don't hold back on our, on our $70. We don't hold back on our console purchases. No, we don't. We come out of our pockets, right? We don't, we don't wait for a discount. We buy these games day one. Whether it's PC, PS5, Series X, Switch, we don't hold back. Maybe we should start holding back and start voting with our wallets. And, and, and let me ask you this. Mm, mm, okay. I, mm, mm, okay. Let me ask you this. This is what Team Ninja is saying. I'm going to ask you all this question. Do you think Rise of the Ronin will sell will sell 5 million copies? Be honest with me. Be honest with me. Be honest. Because Team Ninja, they just put out something, was it two days ago? Basically saying what they're projecting is 5 million copies. They want to sell 5 million copies of Rise of the Ronin. And it's, a, it's, it's 31. I, I want to show you guys this right now. I want to show you guys this, okay? Look at this. Look, look, just, just take a look here. People look at reviews to make purchase decisions. Me, I just play the game. I, I, I play the game. I'm my own critic. If I'm interested into a game, if a game is running at 60 frames and it's great and the quality is good, I'll play it for myself to make the judgment. But a lot of people make their purchase decisions off of review scores. Look at this. 31%. I'm sorry. 33%. 33% mixed reviews. Some people are going to look at that and be like, nah, eh, I'll wait for a sale. I'm serious. I'm so serious. I see it all the time. I'm, I'm seeing it on Twitter. Eh, 33% mixed reviews. Eh, I'll wait. I'll wait for a sale or I'll not, I'm not buying it or I need to see more game. I'm telling you, a lot of people make their purchase decisions off of review scores, right? And Metacritic scores. I'm serious. And it's crazy to me that these outlets are talking about outdated freaking graphics. If you are somebody that make your purchase decisions off of review scores, you can see for yourself, right? You come down all the way because most people are going to see, okay, what is the negative? What is people are talking about? Okay, outdated freaking graphics. That, you know, oh, 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 the combat is not enough. Oh, this or that or, the, 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 you know, with a dated open world or well, whatever. What, uh, Rise of Ron is not a bad game, but a mediocre one. What? You know, you come down and you start looking at these reviews and you're like, wait, 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 wait what? Uh, the the, the, the storyline is chaotic, uh, boring open world, clunky gameplay, outdated graphics. Nah, you're sitting there saying to yourself, nah, I don't know. I don't know, guys, but I tell you one thing. I'll have coverage on this game for you guys. I will play the game. I'll put some long hours into this game, and I'll have a video up. I will have my video up uh, possibly tomorrow or so. I'm going to dig into this game, play the game long enough to give you guys a day one review on this game to let you guys know, 
hey, this is where it is. Apparently, the game is about, what, 40 hours, 50 hours to finish. Some people finish it way less than that. I'm going to be playing it all of today, all of tomorrow, thanks to PlayStation for the code. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll have something for you guys. Or by the latest Saturday, I'll have something for you guys. I don't know. I, I just, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This is not looking good. This is not looking too good at all. It's like, bro, we're about to go into 2025. What are gonna what what are gonna what are games gonna be in in 2025? How are games gonna look and play in 2025? That's the biggest question. Is the quality gonna be the same? Is the quality gonna be less? That's the million dollar question I have. PS6, PS5 Pro ain't gonna change it if these developers are not going to push for excellence. That's my, that's my ending, ending closing comment is can we, can we somehow be more passionate about our games that we're developing? Can we be more, can we be more passionate? Can, 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 can we continue to push the quality of these games? Can we give the gamers what they want and, and, and in a, a better performing game, a less buggy glitchy game? It can be done. Heck, they did it in the 90s. They showed a lot of passion and effort in the 90s. Why can't we do the same thing? Why can't we do the same thing in 2024? 2023. Look at Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Look, oh, yeah, well, now it's updated, and people are still saying it still look fuzzy. The fidelity mode still look better than the performance mode, right? Um, Final Fantasy 16, same thing, you know, dropping below right dropping below 60 right um you know going down as low as 720p at the time it's like what what the heck is going on i i don't know man dragon's dogma 2 same thing golem same thing buggy glitchy mess i don't know i don't know i don't know he said, why are you not doing, is that what y'all want? Y'all want a live review of Rise of the Ronin? Is that what y'all want? I mean, I can go live and talk about my experience with the game. I mean, if, if y'all don't want a video, I just figured y'all will probably want a video. But if you want me to go live, I'll go live with it once the review is ready. Um, I, I'll, I'll do that. You know what I mean? I'm just, guys, I, all I'm just saying is I, you know, I just, I just want better for our, for our, for our, for our culture, for, our, for, our, for our industry. I just, that's all I want. I'm so sick of this crap, unoptimized bull crap. I'm so sick of it. You know what I mean? 40, 90, you not safe. 40, 80, you ain't safe. 30, 80, you ain't safe. Freaking, what's the CPU we just, uh, uh, Ryzen 9, 79, 50, you ain't safe. Bro, a Ryzen 9 7950 X3D processor and you ain't safe? Off oh, $600 CPU and you ain't safe? What? <sighs> what how is going how how is GTA 6? Uh, I mean, the almighty GTA 6, how is GTA 6 going to be? I'm, I really hope that GTA 6 is going to be the holy grail of gaming. I really hope that GTA 6 is going to put all these developers to shame. What do you guys think? I really hope that it starts with GTA 6. Now, I see a lot of people say, well, Marlon, Rockstar has always been doing 30 FPS games and then they patch them later. If they even do patch them, sometimes they don't. Like Red Dead 2, they don't even patch it, right? For 60 FPS on consoles. But it's it's like, is it going to be the frame rate or is it going to be is it going to be the quality? Like, which one is it going to be? Like, I, I, I need a game to come out. That is a, that's a third-party game that's going to put these developers to shame in terms of what they're doing because it makes no sense. And we sit here and build these expensive freaking PCs, buy these expensive CPUs and graphics cards and motherboards for no freaking reason. And then we get 
terrible performance. Look at Alan Wake 2, right? Alan Wake 2 was a beast, was literally crushing a lot of PCs, right? And then they actually lowered the requirement specs now. They actually patched the game and lowered some of those higher requirements for the game. I don't know if you guys remember that. That is crazy. You see what I'm saying? Man, it is just I hope I hope GTA don't fail us. I hope the rest of this year don't fail us cuz people have already been saying it ain't looking too good in 2024 for PlayStation, right? People are already saying ain't no first party games. People are already saying ain't no games. Period, right? But there are games coming out. Third party, second party and first party. And it's just like people are I feel like people are just not blown away by these games like once they see them they're just like, oh, shoot, here we go. <laughs> Another unoptimized garbage, right? Uh, we'll fix it later. Let's get into the Q&A, man. Let's, let's get into the Q&A. If y'all have any questions on this, I'm not buying Dragon's Dogma 2 on PC until they fix this dumpster fire. I will not buy Dragon's Dogma 2 on consoles until they fix it. Until they actually fix it. Because you know what? What's his name? What's the guy's name from Capcom? He said... Oh, we want it to go with 30 FPS, but, you know, it can go higher than 30 FPS, blah, blah, blah. But from all the videos and optimized videos that I've seen, people are saying that it drops below 30. You didn't see when I was talking about that article in the 20s. What? I can't ruin it. That's what I'm saying. Dragon's Dogma 2 is being held back. The game is the game is a great game. Don't get me wrong. The game looks fun. There's a lot of great things going on. I want to play the game, but good God almighty, you see low review scores because of the performance. So guys, performance is very important. If the game runs like garbage, like you guys say, oh, it looks rough, you're not going to buy it. That's a problem. And these publishers and these developers need to be held accountable. Stop putting out lazy dumpster fire. And really put effort into your games and really show some care into your games. Like you really love making games and stop making it about just money. Yes, we know it's a business. Yes, we know that you, you're in business to make money, but at least put your passion before the money. Because if the experience is top notch, people will buy it. Look at Hell Divers, right? The best selling game of 2024. Literally tearing up the charts right now. I played Hell Divers 2 last night for three hours. Shout outs to Ray. You know who you is. And and I try to I DM some of the members on Discord, on our Discord. If you are a member, we have a private Discord as well. And I DM some of the members. We were playing with some of the members and stuff. And we had a great time. Literally a great time. Right? And the game had its issues and stuff like that. Yes. But even with the issues, when people were playing the game, they were having a great time. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, bro, I don't want anything pulling away the, the experience, right? I don't, I don't want anything to pull away the experience. When I played, um, what was that other game on Xbox? Oh, man. Uh, it was another game. I forgot. Uh, Lies of P, right? I was playing the crap out of Lies of P. Great game great game with minimal issues like i want to see more games like lies of p minimal friggin' issues why can't we why can't we get more games like lies of p minimal issues right i played the crap out of that on my series x enjoyed the game enjoyed the game come on man God. and listen to me man uh let's let's a uh, 1080p no sir no sir <laughs> you crazy <laughs> Let's get into the Q&A. If you guys have any questions, any concerns. Um, I see a lot of people been talking about my hoodie for Helldivers 2. Uh, the, my wife bought it for me for my birthday. My birthday is tomorrow. All right. God's willing. My birthday will be tomorrow. And so my wife already hooked me up with my birthday gift. Shout out to my wife. Wife, if you're watching this at work, love you. She got me an Apple Watch for my birthday. And she got me a Helldivers uh, 2 hoodie. And she got me a PlayStation shirt for my birthday. My birthday is tomorrow. You guys can Google my birthday. I'm not lying, okay? Uh, <laughs> my birthday is tomorrow. So if you want to get the hoodie, 
Link is in the description. It's an affiliate link. It will take you directly to Amazon because I do have an affiliate stuff from like years ago now through Amazon. So yeah, it's an affiliate link. But if you want to purchase the hoodie, um, it's through Amazon. You can go get you one if you want to. Uh, but shout out to my wife, man. She's a good, she's a good lady. She's a good woman. Um, she hooked me up. So yeah, appreciate that. Uh, appreciate that. Shout out to the wife. Yes, sir. What is fire? <laughs> it's fire. You know what I mean? Fire. Um, so yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, for sure, man. Uh, for sure. Thank you guys for the support, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Hit that like button, man. How old do I look? Um, um, X, how old do I look, man? Um, uh, say happy birthday. Thank you so much. What a good wife. Yeah, she is. She is. She believes in what I do. He said the critics don't speak for me. That is true. Exactly. That's why I said I like to play the game for myself. I'll give you guys the review for myself and y'all, y'all see, you know, he says Starfield 30 FPS for the win. Oh, here we go. Got to stir the pot, huh? Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Yeah, she's a keeper. Oh, for, for sure. She is. Uh, I said, Marlon will be 26 tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah. You know what? For my birthday dinner that was held on Sunday, I got money for my birthday from her, uh, from her cousin, husband, from both of them, from her grandma. They gave me money in a, in a, in a, in a birthday card, uh, for my, for my birthday. And she took me to a kibachi restaurant where they actually cook the food in front of you. So it was, it was really good. So it was me, my daughter, and and my wife, you know, we were we were all there and stuff, and it was it was it was wonderful. So, um, but yeah, the the, the chef that the, the kibachi chef, he was like, um, yeah, you look twenty five. I said, hey, I'll take it. Uh, I'll take I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Uh, he says, I thought you said cap to the members having fun with Marlon. Um, let's see here. Uh, I said, happy birthday. Thank you so much. He said, he will be 37. 37? Where you get 37 from? <laughs> I don't know where y'all where y'all get 37 from. Who is, who's going to be 37? <laughs> where where y'all get, where y'all get 37 from? I don't know where y'all get that information from. Hit that like button, hit that share button, and subscribe to the channel. Um, where y'all get 37 from? Talk about... 37 yeah 37 yeah yeah 37 37 where you get that information from <laughs> you said look 37 mar 37 i don't know what i don't know what you're talking about you say you turn to 37 you look young nah i don't know where y'all get that information from <laughs> you said bald in these days you say you do look 25 yeah i've i've been told i've been i've been told that um I say, I say, you look good for 37. I don't know where y'all get that information from. I, I don't know where y'all get 37 from. I don't know where, where y'all getting that from. <laughs> uh, 37, what? Nah, man, nah. You told us before. What? I don't know where y'all getting 37 from, bro. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I keep telling y'all, stop looking at Google. Stop looking at Google, bro. Um... He said, we them boys, bro. Hey, let's go. He says, I'll be 38 on Tuesday. What? He said, we can do bath. Oh, here we go. Stop looking up. Stop looking up stuff on Google. Google be telling lies. Okay. He said, age ain't nothing but a number and a number ain't a thing. There you go. It's about how you take care of yourself, right? Yeah. Uh, he said, my older cousin, early 40 now, and they look 30. See, they say black don't crack, right? That's what they say. Um, you say, yeah, worth 37 million. Ah, here we go. Here we go with that. Stop looking at Google. Google March 22nd. What? Stop looking at Google, bro. Google don't know nothing. Stop looking at Google. Stop looking up my net worth because the net worth is a lie. Stop looking up my age on Google because that's a lie. Okay. Stop looking that stuff up. It's cap, all caps. Google don't know nothing about me, okay? Um, I'm looking at you with a straight face, too. He says, what's up, Marlon, brother? Happy early B-Day. God bless you, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It says, okay to be old. Nah, I'm not old. I'm young, man. I'm 25, bro. He says, I'm turning 25. 
Uh, it says I'm 26, uh, 26 in July. Okay, that's what's up. You're 25, but you're turning 26 in July. Gotcha. Uh, I said, Marlon, I was born in 1920. Oh, really? 1920? Good Lord. It's a long time, man. You're a legend, huh? I said, Marlon, start the game up. Start what game up? <laughs> so Marlon, use cocoa butter a lot. Oh, man. He says, you just said Google your birthday and now don't listen. Nah, no, 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 don't don't listen. It's not truthful. It's it's cap. It says, please ex please explain to me how first party developer like Insomnia Games, Naughty Dog, and Santa Monica can do a better job than third party developers. It's sad because they're more passionate. They're they're literally more passionate. That's why. Um it said, no, it said, don't matter the age, uh, another day above ground is worth it. Most definitely. Say, hey, Marlon, wishing you uh, awesome and blessed. Uh, happy birthday. Hey, appreciate that. And many more. Thank you so much. I said, first to go with is the hairline. You're okay. <laughs> Here you go. Uh, Ray says, um, happy birthday to the goat. Coat equal capper of all. Hey, whatever. Uh, whatever. He said, uh, he says, uh, Marlon, I was born in 1920. I'm turning 104 this year. Wow. Dang, man. You're a legend. I tell you, you're a legend. It says net worth in the 8K TV behind you. <laughs> said Marlon wasn't even born when Google came out. Oh, here you go. Net worth is 100 million. Ain't no way. That's cap. That, that's what I said. Don't believe... Now, if you type in what's Marlin Gaming Nation's net worth, it's going to lie to you. It's going to lie to you. And it's it, what's Marlin Gaming Nation's birthday, it's going to lie to you. Don't believe that mess, okay? Uh, Marlin, it says your net worth is $4.5 million. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, here we go with that nonsense. Uh, Luis, greetings, my brother. Let's get it popping, bro. Uh, let's see, 343 people in here. Get the likes up. Yes, hit that like button for me, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Hit that subscribe button if you're brand new. He says, I think a lot of you uh, Sony guys are hypocrites. Starfield gets gets a 700. It's garbage. Uh, wouldn't play that, but yet Ronin gets a 7. I don't care about the score. I'm still going to play it. Mm. I played Starfield. I did. I, I played it. I played the crap out of Starfield on PC. And I played it on on uh, Series S. I played it on Series S. And so look at look at look on my channel. I played the game. So I played the game for myself. So there you go. Uh happy happy birthday, Marley. Hey, Leon, appreciate you, my man. Said so I thought it was releasing in May. Hmm. It says working on one hardware, you can just always get better performance. But that's the same thing that we hear from a lot of these Final Fantasy devs. Oh, just working on one hardware, you know, it's easier than working on multiple hardware, right? Because they get to really dial in and focus. But still, we're getting fuzzy games and, and all sorts of issues, right? Uh, I said, Internet never lies. Mm, I beg to differ. It says, we're going to send Marlon a level four that TV box. <laughs> nah, it's my camera. It's my camera, man. It's, it's my camera. He says, I was born the same year Zelda Ocarina time release. He says, I'm not that old. Exactly. You're not that old. Um, you're young, man. He said, Rise of the Ronin looks like a PS3. Okay. My whole thing is this. With, with Rise of the Ronin having outdated graphics, are you going to let that stop you from playing the game? If the game is 60 FPS, right? If the game is 60 FPS, are you really going to let that stop you? Outdated graphics, are you really going to let that stop you? Because for me, performance... And gameplay is king. Performance and gameplay is king. If the combat and the gameplay is fire and I'm having fun, eh, I can excuse the graphics. As long as the game is optimized and it's running good and it's not dropping below 60 or dropping below 30 or whatever, I can forgive the game for the graphics. If the gameplay is king, the gameplay is going to be this should be the star of the show as well as that 60. 60 should be the standard across the board minimum 30 for some people right but uh, again like i said before and i'll say it again that's just that's just that's just the way it is man you know that's what you get what you get now this generation you get what you get but you know like i said i'll have my review for you guys you said you said marlin so why bash dragon armor 2 your brain 
bash. Don't you see? Don't you see what people are saying? Don't you see how the game is running right now on PC? Don't you see how it's running? I'm calling this stuff out. Capcom should have never released the game being a, a, a poorly optimized game, dropping below 30 FPS, not running right. Really? That's not a bash. It's calling it out and saying, "Hey, happy born day, kiss mark, kiss mark." Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Neta, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, you know, like, like seriously, like, come on, bro. Like, that's not bashing. It's just saying, like, this game should have been better optimized. That's all I'm saying. We already been getting a lot of games running at 30, dropping below 30, unoptimized, not looking right. It's not a bash. It's just saying, hey, Capcom, can you do better, please? Can you do better? Can a lot of all these other third-party developers do better? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I just called out Ronin. I just called out Ronin too. I just called out Ronin. I said, I, I said, I said when it comes down to Ronin, right? I said, there, there are some glitches in the game that I've seen when I was looking at some of the reviews and stuff. And I said, hmm. Well, that th this this needed to be fixed or some people were playing the game before the day one patch. So maybe that's the reason why. But the, the Ronin issue is not the same issue as Dragon's Dogma, right? Dragon's Dogma 2 and, 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 and Rise of the Ronin issues are two different issues. The biggest complaint that people are complaining about Rise of the Ronin is outdated graphics. So it's two different things. Right? Yes, there are some glitches in Rise of the Ronin. Yes, they, they need to be fixed for sure. But I told you guys, the gameplay alone is worth it for Rise of the Ronin. The combat alone is worth it. If you say you're a Neo fan, if you say that you are a Sekiro fan, if you say you are Dark Souls kind of person or whatever, or Ghost of Tsushima, all right, going as far because it takes a lot of elements from Ghost of Tsushima, like petting an animal and going to different shrines and things of that nature. So it has taken some pages out of Neo, um, Sekiro, and Ghost of Tsushima's book in terms of the gameplay, right? But the gameplay is good. And I feel like Rise of the Ronin is one of those games that you can forgive the graphics because of the how good the combat is and also... The, the 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 um the frame rate you 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 get in 60 fps you see what i'm saying so yes the graphics should have been better like team ninja should have done a better job no doubt right but team ninja ain't really known for cutting edge graphics yeah back in the day ninja Gaiden on the original xbox looked amazing dead or alive looked amazing and things of that nature or whatnot but a lot of their games are not no cutting edge freaking graphics. You see what I'm saying? They focus on gameplay. Period. End of story. Sekiro. Same thing with Sekiro. Sekiro wasn't known for no top. Marlin is streaming from the guest house number 10 lemons. <laughs> Here you go. Thank you so much, JRT, for this for the for the number two. I appreciate it. You, um, like like Sekiro wasn't really known for the graphics. Sekiro was known for the gameplay, how great the gameplay was and how the FPS and everything, right? That was Sekiro. A lot of people loved it. It was hard, but a lot of people loved it, played it and enjoyed it, right? Same thing with Neo, Neo 1 and 2, the collection on PS5. A lot of people played it, had a lot of time, a lot, a lot of fun with it. And it was running at 60. You see what I'm saying? Those games are not, not no cutting edge freaking graphics, but the gameplay is solid. And that's what, that's enough for me. As long as the frame rate is at a 60 FPS, as long as the gameplay is king, I'm good. I can live with everything else. I can live with everything else. As long as it's optimized correctly, I don't have to have cutting edge graphics. I don't have to have cutting edge graphics because you can have a game that looks amazing and in the gameplay is trash. What would you what would you want from 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 a game? Would you want better graphics and only better graphics and then garbage gameplay and garbage performance? I don't think so. Because at the end of the day, what are you going to do? Sit there and look at the graphics and then the gameplay is trash? What are you going to do? Sit there and look at uh, this jittery, buggy, glitchy mess? 
I don't think so. I don't think so. He said, Marlon, uh, you say you're not 37, but you're 36. <laughs> so know where you get that information from. He said, good game. Exactly. Good gameplay. Good, good gameplay. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. A gameplay is king. I don't, man, the gameplay for Dragon's Dogma 2, fire. 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 The gameplay... The gameplay is fire for Dragon's Dogma 2. Fire. You hear what I'm saying? Fire. The gameplay for Dragon's Dogma 2 is fire. The problem with Dragon's Dogma 2 is poorly optimized for consoles and for PC. That is the issue. That is the issue. The gameplay is fire. I, I want to play the game, but I'm not fixing to play it. At no 27, 30 FPS, not doing it. Can't even hit, barely can hit 60 on PC. Ah, 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 ah. Not me. No, sir. No, sir. Mm -mm. Nope. Yeah, Rose, Rise of the Ronin reviews are decent. Yes. But I, nah, I can't do it. I, I can't. I can't. I can't. Now, some people can look at Rise of Ronin and say, oh, outdated graphics, not buying it. Well, that's your business. That's your, I'm not going to let, I'm not going to let outdated graphics stop me from buying the game. If the gameplay is good, if the frame rate is good, mwah, I'm sold. That's it. That's it. Some developers, their things are, they, they, they are not specialized in graphics. Like Naughty Dog, you know you're going to get quality with Naughty Rockstar. Oh my God. What? Rockstar, you know what you're getting with Rockstar. Top tier, triple A, quad A graphics, gameplay. Look at Red Dead Redemption 2. Look at every single Rockstar game. It's always something crazy about them in terms of gameplay, right? In terms of realism, in terms of graphics, right? It's always, it's literally always performance, Right with with a lot of rock star games, always performance. Oh, you might get sixty. Oh, you might get thirty. Right, but in terms of the quality, in terms of the story, oh man, you know what you're getting with some of these third party developers. You know you can count on your hands the good ones. You can count on your hands the good ones that are going to deliver the goods. But it's always some sort of compromises. You know, first party is going to deliver. Oh, always. That's why I said, and, and hear me, hear me when I say this. The PS5 Pro is going to shine when it comes to first party. Some third party and some second party games are going to shine. Not all. I'm warning you guys right now. Don't think, don't buy the PS5 Pro. Don't get hype on the PS5 Pro. And think that every single game is going to be patched for it or every single game is going to run better on it because it's up to these developers. If developers are being lazy now, what do you think is going to happen when the pro comes out? You're really going to feel like you wasted your money on the pro if you're playing a third party game on it and it's running like garbage. It's running like PS3 in terms of the frame rate, right? You're really going to be mad. And it's not the hardware's fault. It's the it's the friggin' developers. It's their fault because they 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 want to be lazy, and they don't want to patch the freaking game correctly to fully utilize. I don't understand. Don't you want to make money? I don't I don't understand the logic behind it. Don't you want to make money, or do you want to lose money, or do you not want your game to sell? Which one is? I don't I don't I don't, I don't get it. Caesar, what's up? I I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't freaking get it. I'm so sick of these studios, man. Some of these studios, they don't want to take accountability. They don't want to push these, these consoles. They don't want to make their game more optimized and run at a much more smoother frame rate. I, I, I don't get it. Look at Red Dead 2. Look, look at Red Dead 2. Amazing. Amazing game. Uh, 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 amazing game. You see what I'm saying? Amazing game, right? But yet still, it's like, wait, wait, what's, wait, what? Like, what's happening? You know what I mean? Come on, man. What's the point of the pro? I'll tell you what the point of the pro is. The point of the pro is similar to what the PS4 Pro did. 
enhance the games. Help enhance the games. Whether it's giving you a better image quality or making the frame rate more stable. That is the job of the pro. That's it. If developers utilize the box correctly. Are y'all following? That is the job of the pro. The job of the pro is to enhance these games and make them look a little bit better. I'm not saying no generational better. Look a little bit better in terms of the image and also give you a stable locked frame rate. That is it. Based on the upscaling technology that I've been telling you guys about, Sony is going to patch. I mean, that's so well, yeah, Sony, obviously Sony first party developers, they're going to have to patch F, uh, the, the PSSR, the PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, they're going to have to use that technology, right? And put it into their first party games to show you guys the results so that you guys can make a purchase decision on the PS5 Pro. Same thing with the third party developers. Rockstar, everybody, EA, Ubisoft, Bethesda, Activision, everybody is going to have to, if they want to put a third party game on the PS5 Pro, they're going to have to use the PSSR to their advantage. They're going to have to patch that into the game in order for it to work. Or else, what do you get? All That's all it is. It's, a, it's an enhancer. That's it. This is visuals and more stable 30. Well, some people are okay with that. Or a lock 30. Some people are okay with that. He said, Marlon, you say you are 30 of tomorrow, but I'm guessing you're not far off 35 36 take a pick he said nah i'm 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 way less than that man nah man nah <laughs> he said this the, the the sad thing is they will be able to make the ticket a ways it says if silent hill 2 remake runs oh nope if silent hill 2 remake comes out and it's running at 30 frames nope not buying it sorry not buying it. Mm -mm. I can't play. I, I'm, I, bro, I'm tired of playing games at 30 frames. I'm so tired of it. And it don't run right. It just looks so bad. I don't want to play no game at no 30 frames, man. 60 or nothing. 60 or nothing. No, 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 no. No, 60 or nothing. No. I don't want it because most of these games are not even locked at 30. Skull and Bones? Oh, Lord. What about Skull and Bones? Is it is it not running right or something? I don't know. He said, come on, Dar. He said, you, you said you're not true. Marlon said yesterday the Xbox was getting six frames. Get it right. Um, he said, Marlon is 32 years old. Oh, boy. He said, happy birthday. Enjoy it uh, with your family. Hey, thank you so much, Anthony. I appreciate that. He said, Marlon's saying he's in his 30s. He said he can be 25. Yeah, I'm just saying. I could be any 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 age, you know? <laughs> he said, come on, Dutch. Make sure y'all hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you, boys. God bless y'all. He said, mostly all Sony first party games run at 60. Exactly. Oh, whoops. Sorry, Mike. Sorry. <laughs> Um, exactly. Yes, yes. Long time. Yes, sir. 17 years. Yes, sir. Been doing it a long time. Been doing it a long time since I was 20. Been doing it a long time. Oh, the wife commented on the stream. I did not see that. She just texted me a while ago. I did not see your comment at all. Comment again. <laughs> I'm over here yapping my mouth. Um, let's see here. He said, Marlon, the goat. Nah, man, you're the goat, man. You're the man. You know, I can't be the man if you're the man, but no, every single game on PS five, that is first party, have a performance mode and runs at 60 FPS. Every single game, every single first party game runs at 60 FPS on PS five. Um, you say you are not going to buy GTA 6 at 4K 30. Uh, I don't know, man. I, 
I don't want to. I really don't. It just matters on is it is it gonna be is gonna is it gonna be thirty with VRR or is it gonna be forty or something higher than thirty? Then maybe I don't know. But I, I don't want to play GTA six with thirty frames. Who wants to play an open world game at thirty frames? <laughs> I don't know. It's like playing Call of Duty at thirty FPS. Are you crazy? <laughs> Not me. He says, are you Chris Brown age? Uh, Chris Brown age. Oh, Lord. Here we go. He said, wishing you the best for a special day tomorrow, fam. Hey, much love. Much love. We here. We out here. You know what I mean? We out here. He says, I said I like the hoodie on you. Oh, shout out to the wife. There she goes. <laughs> hey. Shout out to the wife. Hey. Shots to the wife. Show the wife some love. I uh, said, Marlon, well, don't turn on your old systems then. <laughs> Actually, I was playing Fight for New York on my original Xbox. Couple, you can ask my wife, couple days ago. Mm -hmm. I was playing, I was playing Def Jam. That's what I've been playing a lot. I've been, honestly, if I'm not reviewing a game, then I'm playing older games or I'm trying to finish up my backlog. But I was playing Fight for New York on my original Xbox. Ah, uh, he says, you need to find a different laugh button. Cringe. <laughs> okay, wife. Okay. Okay, wife. Okay. I got ya. Uh, he says, where did you get the Helldiver hoodie? Amazon link is in the description. There's an affiliate link uh, to it because... On Amazon, I do have an affiliate um, affiliate through them. So it's an affiliate link just giving you a FYI. But yeah, link will be in the description to take you directly to the hoodie. Um, he said, y'all should uh, decorate his... Uh, should I decorate his office tomorrow? He says, yes, please. Good Lord. Different sounds. <laughs> All right. I'll try to find a way to change it. All right. He says they don't deliver on the Sweet Baby Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm hearing so much stuff about stuff getting cut from the game and stuff with Venom and, oh, Lord, people are just never going to forgive Spider-Man 2. He says they actually, he says they say actually GTA 6 on that 120 FPS on PS5 Pro, no cap on an update. I believe it when I see it. I believe I'll believe it when I see it, man. I believe it when I see it. it. Said Marlon, so I donated Rise of the Ronin for you, uh, for you to. Uh well, hey, like I said, Sony Sony uh sent it to me, uh PlayStation sent it to me, so um, we'll 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 get something else with that for sure. Uh he said, decorate his office in Hello Kitty. Oh, I'm so done. Your thoughts on Alone in the Dark? I haven't really looked into Alone in the Dark yet. Um, I want to. I actually grew up playing Alone in the Dark, by the way. So, yeah. <laughs> Gaskin, you're something else, man. I can't with Gaskin. Gaskin is something else. He said, replace with Wario Laugh. Oh, that's funny. Hit that like button, guys. Let's see if we can get over 200 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you're brand new. Hit that post notification bell. Let's go. Um, it says, uh, send that rise of the Ronin. Uh, <laughs> that hip. You the man, man. You the man. It said, Jose says, what's up, Marlon? Happy birthday. And what time should I get here to start the DJ? I don't even know what time tomorrow I'm going to start because I'm going to be working on Rise of the Ronin. I'm going to be playing it all today. Try to stay up as late as possible. Try to play it so I can have a solid review for you guys. And then I'm going to be playing it all through tomorrow as well until, you know, until I, I get to do a review for you guys. So stay tuned. Um, uh, It says Rise of the Ronin, a uh, 10, uh, in terms of the uh, gamers, say you believe that a ten? They saying they're giving it a ten. Hey, well, that's their opinion, right? That's their opinion. You know, 
That's their opinion. Um, it said, tell me why GameStop call it, called me yesterday. Really? Why they called you? Why did GameStop call you? 77 on Metacritic is, is, is a good score. It's not a bad score. It's not a bad score. It's a good score. I mean, people make purchase decisions off of a game getting 7 out of 10. But I'm just saying, like, for some people, eh, they want, they want the game to score higher than that for them to buy it. You know, 7 is a, is a good score. Now, anything below a six, now that's bad, for sure. So, you know. Hope First Lady is well filled with oxtails in the fridge, Marlin. Just remember to remember Datip, Iman Rich, Parsa Amini Weezy, and Mass Produce told me to tell you all to just remember Xbox and PC as numero no. Just remember, just Reem MB. <laughs> Ah, oh, Lord. Yo, Anonymous, you something else, bro. I can't. Just remember. Just remember. PC is number one. Just remember. Xbox is number one. I'm like, oh, Lord. That's all I see in the comment sections, bro. Like, I promise you, as soon as the streams go down, that's all I see. Just remember. Just remember. Just remember. Just remember. I'm like, oh, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate it. Hit that notification bell. Like, just remember. Just remember. Just remember. I'm like, just remember what? Just remember what? Um, it says, I find it very laughable that I've been seeing people on Twitter defending 30 FPS in 2024. It's really crazy that people are cool with that. Don't want to demand better, I guess. You know what I mean? Don't don't want don't want to say, hey, you know what? 60, 60, 60. You know what I mean? 60, 60. I I I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, count. It's getting a lot of mixed reviews. Some people are saying outdated graphics. You know, um, the combat is not enough to warrant the game being great. This and that. I think a lot of people are just giving the game a low score because of the graphics and not so much on the gameplay side, which is crazy to me. Um, I sent you a picture on Twitter of, of Ghost of Tsushima 2. Insane. Picture of Ghost of Tsushima 2 um rise of the ronin is garbage why why how did you come to that conclusion that it's garbage but that's your opinion if you think the game is garbage then that's your opinion i i can't say otherwise i says i'll take 40 fps with vr see that's a that's an okay middle ground if we can get a lot more games if we if we can get a lot more games at 40 and up then that's not too bad but we're not even getting that we're not even getting 40 with VRR. We're getting 30 and below. You know what I mean? Or we get an unoptimized game. So it's just kind of like, well, what's the point? Right? What, what, like, what's the point? He said, just remember, Marlon is number one. Here you go. Stop stirring the pot, man. <laughs> uh, hey, King Mo says, my brother said, happy early birthday, man. Big ups. Hey, shout outs to your bro, man. Hey, shout outs to King Mo, brother. Much love, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, man. God bless. You know the vibes, man. We here. Um, let's see here. It says, just remember the pathetic, worthless X flop is last every. Oh Lord, here we go. Here we go. Stir in the pot. Here y'all go. Stir in the pot, man. Come on, guys. Don't be like that. Come on, guys. Super gaming. What's up, man? How you doing? Um, it said, Marlon, did you see that Twitter by Todd Howard? Oh, you're saying, uh, you're saying tweet by Todd Howard that Skyrim is coming to PS5 and Xbox? What? Nah. What? Stop the cap. No, 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 no. Man, Twitter is always popping off. Twitter is always popping. Where did you get that from? Tweet from when? Today? From today? Please give us another infamous. Oh, let's go. Please give us another infamous. Um, let's see here. Oh, infamous second son launched 10 years ago today. Exclusively. Bro, it's been 10 years. Bro, it's been 10 years. Oh, my God. Have mercy. Yo, shout outs to infamous. Wow. 10 years. Bro, it's been 10 years. Wow. Wow. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe it. 
10 years ago. Put some respect on Infamous, bro. 10 years ago. Literally 10 years ago, bro. Wow. That's crazy. Like, can we can we get that? You know what I mean? Wow. You say you think GTA 6 is going to run at least a lock 50 FPS on PS5 Pro? Um, I think we're probably going to get close to 60 on PS5 Pro. I, I think we're probably going to get either right at 60 or close to 60 on PS5 Pro. You know, with the upscaling technology. You know, the, 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 I, I think the upscaling technology will play a, a, a big role in how GTA 6 perform. I think that's going to be the, the, the biggest pitch for the PS5 Pro with GTA 6. Um, I, I, think, I think we're going to get either at 60 or close to 60 with that with with that he says yay please give to first lady more donations it's over nine thousand um uh hey ninja with the 20 dollar thank you for the shh for that 20 that, that that 20 says it's okay about uh being in denial about your age marlin but happy 37 <laughs> So I love you guys, man. It's okay about being in denial about your age, Marlon, but happy 37th birthday, Marlon. Tears of joy. May it be filled with H greatness. My man. <laughs> happy Thank birthday, you. Marlon. All love, my boy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Even further beyond. There's no hope for you, $100. Happy early birthday, bro. I agree with some of the others. Get a new laugh sound. Hashtag so annoying, lol. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. We're, we go change up the sound. All right, all right. Something for yo. Shout outs to my man. There is no hope for you with a one hundo. Bro, we haven't gotten a one hundo in a long time we have not gotten a 100 dollars donations in a long time that is the biggest donation of this entire month there's no hope for you god bless you man thank you for the 100 i appreciate the bird birthday wishes guys you guys are awesome let's go let's go wow thank you guys man seriously you guys are awesome Thank you guys for the generosity, man. Uh, my man Rich says, this community is hilarious. I love y'all, MGN. Shout outs to Rich. Cam says, Marlon, do you see a future for DLC for Rise of the Ronin? We never covered that. What's potential? Um, I can see future content for Rise of the Ronin. I can see that. And a lot of people are forgetting too, uh, it's going to be co-op right it's it's four player co-op so you can play with three other people um and 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 go through missions that that's going to be a lot of fun that's why i said like right rise, rise of the ronin is going to be so much fun you know what i mean this community is hilarious i love y'all mgn full score folded hands medium dark skin tone hey thank you so much rich i appreciate y'all man i appreciate it thank you so much um he said uh to try to start a trend oh you're oh you oh 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 there's no hope for you said he's trying to start a trend mm. i don't think anybody else is going to donate a hundred dollars um but I, I get i get i get i get you there's no hope i don't think nobody else is going to donate a hundred dollars but appreciate you for starting that hundred dollar trend though i appreciate that <laughs> he says when it when is uncharted remake coming out uncharted remake is probably i don't know yeah they said that we might see that the next ps5 showcase um if it if it is happening but yeah we've been hearing rumors about it like this is the year apparently where sony is going to be coming out with a lot of remakes a lot of remasters stuff like that so yeah it says i like the laugh sound too 
It said Marlon uh, play that laugh track, bro. It says uh, trigger them laugh. <laughs> Anonymous again. Oh man. Um, it said I saw co-op is only mission based. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It says who's gonna drop one thousand dollars, man. <laughs> Mass produce. Datip, Parsa Amini, the commander. Bahamumut and Lou Weezy told me to tell you all just remember to remember Persona 6 as numero uno just remember to just remember and remember to just remember. <laughs> ah, here you go. Here you go. Yo, Anonymous, thank you. So I can't with this man, bro. I can't with... <laughs> appreciate you. Appreciate you, Anonymous, for the $10. But yeah, yo, shout out, shout outs to There's No Hope For You Know, man. Like, I appreciate the $100, man. That's the biggest donation of the show. I appreciate you guys. Thank you all for the love. Uh, thank you so much for starting the $100 train, man. Give it up. Give it up for There's No Hope. Salute, man. Salute. Hey, salute. Um... Nah, nah, Ray. You're the one dropping the thousand dollars. Ain't nobody dropping no thousand dollars. Um, let's see here. Mass. Uh, this is people might get disappointed with the graphics of GTA Six on the normal PS Five versus the Pro. Not much difference. I sent you the uh, uh, Lucia thoughts. You see, that's that's what I'm saying. Like, as long as it's better, as long as it's better than the base PS Five. That's all that matters. That's enough for somebody to go buy the pro. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Um, and performance is better. Uh, he said, Ray, uh, he says, Ray, nah, 1K man is Nola. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nola is the 1K man. Ain't nobody up in here dropping no 1K. Uh, let's see here. He says, hey, Marlon, I just bought that same hoodie after seeing you wear a spread of democracy. Hell diver. Hey. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Let's go, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Link is in the description. Again, link is in the description. If you guys uh, want to buy the hoodie, it's an affiliate link. If you want to help out the channel in that way, link is in the description. You can go get the hoodie there um, on Amazon. It says rise of mid is crazy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What is mid about it? The gameplay looks fire to me. The co-op of, uh, you know, co-opness of, you know, through in missions, that looks fun to me. I can't wait to dig into the game. I'm definitely going to be digging into the game today for sure. Um, let's see. Thanks to PlayStation. Uh, it said Billy Williams says, happy birthday, Marlon. Many years to come. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate the, the, the birthday wishes. I appreciate you guys, man. You guys are awesome, dude. You guys are awesome, man. You guys are so kind. I appreciate y'all. Uh, it says it was mad fun playing Hill Divers 2 last night. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Always, man. Always. You know, always. He said Nola is the true. Oh, yeah. Nola. Big ups to Nola, man. King Nola, man. Yeah. Nola always come through, man. You always come through. Help out our community. Hold us down. You know. Yeah. Shout out to Nola, man. Yes. Uh, uh, he says, I hope uh, MGN on your car for the goat the legend is getting you subs he said much love brother respect hey appreciate that thank you he says rise of rise of mid sounds funny and fit in name oh lord here we go here we go ice queen gaming says happy birthday marlon i appreciate it tomorrow is that day tomorrow is that day god's willing you know god's willing say just remember one more time so help me god <laughs> rolling on the floor laughing I can't with y'all boys, man. I can't with y'all boys. I, I seriously can't with y'all boys. I can't. Uh, Devastator with the $2 says, hit us with the boy song. Need a quick laugh. Oh, Lord. Gaskin is in the stream. Oh, God. All right, all right, all right, all right. Since you donate for that, Gaskin, go ahead and mute. Go ahead and mute the stream. Go ahead and mute the stream. We got a donation for the boy song, so we got, we got, it. We got to pull up the boy song. Let me see if my computer can act right. Let me see if my computer can act right. Um, let's see. <laughs> Hit us with the boy song. Need a quick laugh. 
I got you, bro. I got you. I got you. Let me see if I can find it. The boy song. I think it's the Kratos song, huh? Um. Oh, here it is. Only fire <laughs> when I tell you to fire. <laughs> boy, only fire when I tell you to fire. <laughs> Boy, 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 in direction of dear boy, in direction of dear boy, 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 in direction of dear boy, in direction of dear boy, Atreus, to me, Atreus. To me, Atreus, to me, boy, 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 boy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Let's... Oh, Lord. <laughs> Classic, baby. Classic. <laughs> oh, man. Bro, I haven't played. I haven't played that song in a long time. I haven't played that song in a long time, man. I appreciate you. Appreciate that. I hope I hope that made you. <laughs> Cam, you funny. Oh, man. I, I can't laugh anymore. My, 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 my chin is hurting. My cheeks on my face. Oh. My cheekbone. Oh boy. Can't laugh anymore. Oh God. He said, uh, Dragon Dogma 2, not good. You're bugging Mark. No, 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 no. Performance. Performance. They got it. It's a great game. Like I said, great game, but held back by performance. Great game. But is dang. Dang. Um, great game, like I said earlier. But held back by performance. They have to fix that. They have to fix it. And I'm just, I'm just so tired of so many games coming out like that. You know, just unoptimized, poor PC ports, 40, 90, can't even hit 60 FPS. What? Mm -mm. Um, he said, nah, that GTA 6 be hype. Show them, Marlon. Oh, man, you love that GTA song, huh? GTA 6 song. He said, also, Marlon, uh, the beta for the PS5 for the live wallpaper looks fire. He says, we dev oh, you saw the video today. Yeah, shout out to Mystic Ryan. Uh, he says, I need to make a video with, I need to make a video, uh, I need to make a video with the game being edited. Okay. Uh, it says, classic banger. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, he says, I'm, he said, everybody said, that song is always gets to be rolling. Yeah, that song is, that song is legendary, man. That song is legend. I love that song. Like when I'm sad most of the time, like after, or I'm not having a good day, I just most of the time just play that song and, you know, already feeling good. Uh, I said, Marlon, have you beaten all the Dragon Age games? No, no, I have not. <laughs> I have not. I have not. They said, boy, sound like Connie. Uh, <laughs> the boy song sound like a Kanye song. Oh, man, really? Uh, hey, 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 man. Kanye is fire. I love old school Kanye. Old school Kanye, legend, legend, for sure. Like some of his new stuff, eh. But Kanye, like old school Kanye, yeah, man. Yeah. They said, giddy up. If you are Sony pony, you need to get hype. <laughs> oh, you love the hype song? Oh, that's what's up. They said, Marlon the Hell, uh, Marlon the Hell Divers 2 is dropping today, bro. Oh, really? Says, I keep on getting respawn on Ragnarok DLC. Any thoughts? Are you are you dying in the game a lot? Because if that's the case, then you're going to keep on respawning and respawning and have to do everything all over again. Yeah, just try not to die <laughs> in the game. So, you know. Um, it says, it says, I have all three Dragon Age games on Xbox. Oh, that's what's up, man. Uh, it says, it says, you the sales for the u.s uh you the sales for the u.s what sales oh you talking about kanye kanye is not humble anymore oh uh it says old school kanye versus dope back in the day uh was dope back in the day yeah 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 for sure man 
He says, I like old Drake, the new Drake, man. He says, advice, get better friends to play with. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. He says, why no multiplayer for DBZ Spark and Zero? Really? No multiplayer? Is that confirmed? I'm still buying the game, though, because it looks really, really good. The combat, um, the, the, the different attacks, deflecting different attacks, all that stuff, so much more smoother, crisp, and things of that nature. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. Yo, Caleb coming through with a big body 50 trailing behind my man. There's no hope for you. So the biggest donator right now is there's no hope for you. Second by my man, Caleb, with that big body 50. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Appreciate you guys, man. Thank y'all. Yo, Marlon, happy early birthday. My birthday is today. I am 22, and I am definitely playing Rise of the Ronin at midnight tonight. Gonna have a blast, bro. Let's go. I'm so happy to hear that. And stay tuned for my review, man. I will have a review on the game, so stay tuned on that. And I will be playing the co-op missions with a lot of you guys. You know, playing the missions via co-op with you guys, that's gonna be a lot of fun. So for those of you who are members of our show can't wait to play rise of the ronin with you man it's, it's gonna be a lot of fun a uh, new future album tomorrow really it says i like uh drake old drake okay um rocks what's up happy birthday thank you so much i appreciate that thank you so much yo caleb thank you so much for the big body 50 man yes sir we here yes sir we here thank you thank you for the big body 50 second biggest donation of the show i appreciate that thank you all for the birthday wishes man i appreciate it tomorrow is that day man tomorrow is the day i appreciate y'all boys um it says waiting on your review uh waiting on your review before i decide to cop it oh my man appreciate that shots to playstation for sending over the game i will be getting on the game today so i will be playing the game today as a matter of fact as soon as i get certain things done um i will be i will be on the game just remember to just remember persona 6 and fable are numero uno a very a gaskin stop capping just remember persona 6 is numero uno don't forget to remember commander and mass produce told me to say this cool i can't with this man man i can't with this man come on man i can't with this man hey thank you so much for subscribing uh mr simpson thank you so much welcome aboard thank you so much hit that post notification bell if you brand new hit that like button on the stream if you are enjoying the content we cover playstation we cover xbox we have live reviews video reviews things of that nature uh early reviews things of that nature welcome to the channel i appreciate y'all boys man thank y'all um let's see here it says i listen to music to help me through my mental health problems i understand that yes most definitely a lot of people do uh, it says you got to live stream it. It says I haven't seen no uh, my created character on there. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. It says people been um, teleworking. This is before the pandemic. I don't know, man. It's just like, come on, man. It said also Marlon, Dr. Dre confirmed on Jimmy Kimmel uh, show that Eminem is releasing a new album um, this year, and Eminem gave him a permission to tell everyone, wow, that is dope. Eminem is legendary, man, for sure. Eminem is, is, is legendary, most definitely. I appreciate you guys, man. Seriously, you guys are so kind, man. You guys are so kind today. Um, I know it's slow, guys. I know the economy is not what it need and what it, what it should be right now. Everything is very slow and you know, appreciate you guys for coming through today, man. Appreciate all the birthday wishes. Appreciate all the love. Tomorrow is my birthday. I will be streaming tomorrow for my birthday. So I appreciate y'all, man. Thank y'all so much for the support. You guys are awesome. Um, But yeah, I'm going to get on Rise of the Ronin, um, you know, today. I'm going to get I'm going to get on it. And um, yeah, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. I will definitely have a review for you guys. I just want to put some hours into it. You know what I mean? At least, you know, have at least 10 hours, over 10 hours into the game. And I can give you guys, you know, something solid and everything like that on the game. So I want to put some hours into it. 
Um, says happy birthday, Marlon. It says, I wish I was the man like you. Oh man, come on. You're the man, bro. You're the richest man I know. They say you can tell the difference from Sony's first party games to third party. Most definitely. That's typically how it is with a lot of first and second and third party games. You can definitely see the difference there. Uh, but again, that's same thing with Nintendo. Same thing with Microsoft, you know, you know, look at Hellblade 2. Look how that looks comparing to a lot of third party stuff. You know what I mean? So uh, I said, uh, he says review or you're going to go live. Yeah, I'm probably going to do a live review of it. Like pretty much talking about like my experience, uh, what I've played, what I've experienced, what I like, what I don't like, stuff like that. And then probably play through some of the game um, live. You know what I mean? So I'll probably do that. So I played a game enough to give you guys a solid review on it. Like I'm going to put some hours into it today, late tonight, going into the early mornings. And um, so I'll have at least a decent 10 hour or over to, over 10 hours into the game and kind of give you guys a solid, you know, day one review on what I think so far about the game and things of that nature. Um uh, it says, all right. He said, what's up? It says, what's up, bro? He says, happy uh, birthday. You you look good for 37. That's motivation. I, I appreciate that, man. 37. What? 37. <laughs> Dub says, happy early uh, birthday. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. It says, what are you doing for your birthday? Actually, work. Work. I got to review Rise of the Ronin for you guys. Thank you to PlayStation. I got to review Rise of the Ronin. I actually did a dinner on Sunday. Um, and, um, you know, I got money. I got a, I got a birthday card from my wife's family. Um, and my wife took me out to eat for my birthday. So that's really about it, man. But I'll, I'll, I'll be working on my birthday. I'll, I'm going to be playing Rise of the Ronin all the way into my birthday tomorrow, you know, and, um, I'll have my review ready for you guys. So appreciate y'all, man. Definitely. I got to download the game now. I got to install the game and get the review ready for you guys. So I love y'all, man. Shout outs to uh, PlayStation. Thank them so much for, for sending the game over for review. Uh, it says, you streaming on Twitch or you? Oh, YouTube, for sure. YouTube. I'll have my review on YouTube, for sure. Uh, it says, happy birthday, big boss. Hey, appreciate that, master. Appreciate that. Yes, sir. Tomorrow is the day. God bless. God bless you guys, man. Hit that like button for me, guys. Um, I, I appreciate, oh, first lady will be at work tomorrow. So I'm going to try to see if I can get everything done. Um, and you know, and have, have something nice for you guys. All right. So I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the tremendous support, man. I really do appreciate you guys, man, for rocking with me, for holding me down, um, for the birthday wishes for everything. Hit that like button on, uh, on the stream for me. And subscribe to the channel if you're brand new to the channel. And I'll see you guys with the Rise of the Ronin review, all right? Love you guys. Be blessed. Be easy. Again, big thank you to PlayStation uh, for sending over the code for review. I will be reviewing the game for you guys, all right? So stay tuned. Be blessed. Be easy. And um, link is in the description. Uh, affiliate link is in the description if you want to get this hoodie. Um, it definitely does help the channel out. Uh, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Be blessed. Thank y'all for the birthday wishes. I need to go play some Rise of Ronin right now. So I love y'all. Be blessed. Be easy. Peace, man. Love y'all. Stay up. Godspeed. Hug somebody. Tell them you love them. Hit that like button, guys.